Hello everyone, you are welcome to how to solve this very nice algebra equation. x plus 1 over x is equal to root 5 minus 1 over 2. Our job is to find x to the power 2025 20, plus 1 over x to the power 2025. 20, so let's start. First we find the value of x squared plus 1 over x squared. So we take a square of both sides of this equation x plus 1 over x is equal to root 5 minus 1 divided by 2 and you take square of both sides. So, this will become x squared plus 2 times x times 1 over x plus 1 over x whole squared is equal to this will become root 5 minus 1 whole squared divided by 2 squared. Now, this x will be cancelled out with this x and this will become x squared plus this 1 over x whole squared will become 1 over x squared plus this 2 is equal to this uh, root 5 minus 1 whole squared will become root 5 squared minus 2 times uh, root 5 times 1 plus uh, 1 squared divided by this uh, 2 squared will become 4. Next x squared plus uh, 1 over x squared plus uh, 2 is equal to this square will be cancelled out with this uh, square root and this uh, 5 plus 1 will become 6 minus 2 times root 5, 2 times root 5 divided by 4. Next x squared plus uh, 1 over x squared plus 2 is equal to from the numerator we can factor out 2 in bracket left 3 minus root 5 divided by this 4 can be written as 2 times 2. So, this 2 will be cancelled out with this 2 and this will become x squared plus 1 over x squared is equal to 3 minus root 5 over 2 3 minus root 5 over 2. And this uh, plus 2 will become negative 2 at right hand side. And we can write the denominator of this 2 1 and we take LCM of uh, this 2 and this 1. The LCM is 2 and 2 divided by 2 is 1. 1 times this expression 3 minus root 5 and 2 divided by 1 is uh, 2. 2 times this 2 negative 4. And this is equal to x squared plus uh, 1 over x squared. x x squared plus uh, 1 over x squared is equal to this uh, 3 minus 4 will become negative 1 minus root 5 divided by 2. Let us call this equation equation 1. Now, we find the value of uh, x cubed plus uh, 1 over x cubed. So, we take a cube of uh, this original equation. The equation is uh, x plus uh, 1 over x is equal to root 5 minus 1 over 2. And we take a cube of uh, both sides of this equation x plus uh, 1 over x whole cubed is equal to root 5 minus 1 over 2 whole cubed. By using this algebraic identity a plus b whole cubed is equal to a cubed plus b cubed plus 3 times a b times a plus b this will become x cubed plus 1 over x 
cubed plus 3 times x times 1 over x times x plus 1 over x is equal to this will become root 5 minus 1 whole cubed divided by 2 cubed. Now, this x will be cancelled out with this x and this will become x cubed plus 1 over x cubed plus 3 times in place of this x plus 1 over x we put this value root 5 minus 1 over 2 root 5 minus 1 over 2 is equal to by using this algebraic identity a minus b whole cubed is equal to a cubed minus 3 a squared b plus 3 a b squared minus b cubed. This root 5 minus 1 whole cubed will become root 5 cubed minus 3 times root 5 squared times 1 plus 3 times root 5 times 1 squared minus 1 cubed divided by this 2 cubed will become 8. Next x cubed plus 1 over x cubed plus 3 times this expression will become 3 times root 5 minus 3 divided by 2 is equal to this root 5 cubed will become 5 times root 5 minus this square will be cancelled out with this square root and 3 times 5 times 1 will become 15 plus 3 times root 5 3 times root 5 minus this 1 cubed will become 1 divided by this 8. Next x cubed plus 1 over x cubed plus 3 times root 5 minus 3 divided by 2 is equal to this 5 times root 5 plus 3 times root 5 will become 8 times root 5. Negative 15 minus 1 will become negative 16 divided by 8. Next x cubed plus 1 over x cubed plus 3 times root 5 minus 3 divided by 2 is equal to from the numerator we can factor out 8 in bracket left root 5 minus 2 divided by 8. Now, this 8 will be cancelled out with this 8 and we move this expression to the right hand side. So, this will become x cubed plus 1 over x cubed is equal to root 5 minus 2. This positive expression will become negative 3 times root 5 minus 3 divided by 2. And we can write the denominator of this root 5 minus 2 1. We take LCM of this 1 and this 2. The LCM of 1 and 2 is 2 and 2 divided by 1 is 2, 2 times this root 5, 2 root 5 and 2 times negative 2, negative 4 and 2 divided by 2 is 1. So, negative times this 3 times root 5 will become negative 3 root 5, negative 1 times negative 3 will become plus 3. Next, this negative 4 plus 3 will become negative 1. The 2 times root 5 minus 3 times root 5 will become negative root 5 divided by 2 and at left hand side we have this expression x 
cubed plus 1 over x cubed. Let's call this equation equation 2 and we recall equation 1. Equation 1 is x squared plus 1 over x squared is negative 1 minus root 5 over 2. Equation 1 is x squared plus 1 over x squared is equal to negative 1 minus root 5 over 2. This is equation 1. And we multiply equation 2 by equation 1. So, this will become x cubed plus 1 over x cubed times x squared plus 1 over x squared is equal to negative 1 minus root 5 over 2 times negative 1 minus root 5 over 2. Now, this x cubed times x squared will become x to the power 5 plus x cubed times 1 over x squared will become x cubed divided by x squared plus 1 over x cubed times x squared will become x squared over x cubed plus 1 over x cubed times 1 over x squared will become 1 over x to the power 5 is equal to this will become negative 1 minus root 5 times negative 1 minus root 5 divided by 2 times 2. Now, we combine these two terms uh, x to the power 5 and uh, 1 over x to the power 5. So, this will become x to the power 5 plus uh, 1 over x to the power 5 plus uh, this x cubed over x squared will become x plus this uh, x squared over x cubed will become 1 over x is equal to negative 1 times negative 1, 1 negative 1 times negative root 5 plus root 5. Negative root 5 times negative 1 plus root 5. Negative root 5 times negative root 5 will become plus 5 divided by 2 times 2. Now, we replace this x plus 1 over x with this value root 5 minus 1 over 2. x plus 1 over x is equal to root 5 minus 1 over 2. So, this will become x to the power 5 plus 1 over x to the power 5 plus root 5 minus 1 over 2 is equal to this 1 plus 5 will become 6 and root 5 plus root 5 will become plus 2 times root 5 divided by 2 times 2. Next x to the power 5 plus 1 over x to the power 5 plus root 5 minus 1 over 2 is equal to from the numerator we can factor out 2 in bracket left 3 plus root 5 divided by 2 times 2. Now, this 2 will be considered out with this 2. We move this expression to the right hand side. So, this will become x to the power 5 plus 1 over x to the power 5 is equal to this expression 3 plus uh, root 5 over 2. And this positive expression will become negative root 5 minus 1 over 2. Next, 
x to the power 5 plus 1 over x to the power 5 is equal to we take the LCM of this 2 and this 2 the LCM is 2 and this 3 plus root 5 will come here 3 plus root 5 and due to this negative sign this positive root 5 will become negative root 5 and this negative 1 will become plus 1 this negative root 5 will be cancelled out with this positive root 5 and this 3 plus 1 will become 4 divided by 2 and this is equal to 2 so x to the power 5 plus 1 over x to the power 5 is equal to 2 now we can write the denominator of this x to the power 5 1 and we take LCM of 1 and x to the power 5 LCM is x to the power 5 so x to the power 5 divided by 1 is x to the power 5 and x to the power 5 times x to the power 5 will become x to the power 10 plus x to the power 5 divided by x to the power 5 is 1 1 times this 1 1 is equal to 2 and if we multiply both sides by x to the power 5 this implies that x to the power 10 plus 1 is equal to 2 times x to the power 5 now move this expression to the left hand side this will become x to the power 10 minus 2 times x to the power 5 plus 1 is equal to 0 and this x to the power 10 can be written as x to the power 5 whole squared minus 2 times x to the power 5 plus this 1 is equal to 0 Now by using this algebraic identity a squared minus 2ab plus b squared is equal to a minus b whole squared. This expression will become x to the power 5 minus 1 whole squared is equal to 0. And if we take square root of both sides this implies that x to the power 5 minus 1 is equal to 0 and this implies that uh, x to the power 5 is equal to 1 and we need to find the value of uh, x to the power 20 25 plus uh, 1 over x to the power 20 25 so this uh, x to the power x to the power 20 25 plus 1 over x to the power 20 25 is equal to x to the power 5 whole to the power 405 plus 1 over x to the power 5 whole to the power 405 now we replace this x to the power 5 and this x to the power 5 with this value 1 so this will become 1 to the power 405 plus 1 divided by 1 to the power 405 and this is equal to this 1 to the power 405 will become 1 plus this 1 over 1 to the power 405 will become 1 and this is equal to 2 so x to the power 20 25 plus 1 over x to the power 20 25 is equal to 2 this is the final answer of this problem